The boat is not ship shape in any way, shape or form. That's a mouthful of ships. Any who's up, we have just basically got the boat ready enough to go. The wasps are just... Yeah, Not just, as many as last night. No, but they're still but in they're your face and all over you as you're trying to yeah. do stuff. And, no, uh, I've been stung once, so I don't really want to get stung again. No. I'm Barry. I'm Ansha. This is the continuing journey of Sailing ABC. This is not the best low light camera, um, but it's the handiest one for what I want to film. It's 5.45 in the morning and it looks like we're in for part two of Attack of the Wasps. I filmed a little segment last night about the wasps when they came in uh, just before sunset and there was probably about, I don't know, 15 wasps hanging around the cockpit just generally checking out things. Well, after I put the camera down, it got progressively worse. And I think at some point, um, the whole boat was just being checked out by wasps. I wouldn't say attacked because that's not what they were doing. They were just checking things out, the curious creatures. And um, there must have been visually, probably <laughs> somewhere around a hundred so wasps. Uh, the back now this morning, because we're still in the same position obviously there's no wind so they know exactly where we are and uh, I can hear them outside and I can just see them against the, uh, the the sun so I'll put the camera out and we'll see what we can pick up but yeah the plan this morning was to get up early um, film the sunrise uh, film a segment for the Anchorage series about this bay because apart from the wasps it is a great place uh, and then we were going to take the dinghy ashore and we were going to fly the drone but now that is all contingent on how long the wasps want to stay here checking us out. <sighs> Such a shame. It's now 7.45 a.m. and the general horde of wasps seem to have gone off to fresher pastures. There are one or two still around the boat and I think what they're doing is they're collecting the moisture from the dewfall that came overnight. They're industrious, I'll give them that. But luckily now, it seems the worst of it is over, and that gives us time to do some filming and fly the drone. Okay, we're coming to rocks, 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 big rocks. We just come up on the beach and I can see this well-worn trail here and I thought, hmm, you know, I didn't think that small animals that would make a trail that small, you know, followed exactly the same trail every time, enough to wear out an actual path. And when we come up here, we find the source of the animal it happens to be insects, ants, as you know, they just continually march in one direction, finding food and bringing it back to the nest. And they're actually making a second path out that way. Amazing. Sadly, all of the beaches that we're coming across these days, and ever since we left Spain, have some evidence, or more than some evidence, of the waste that we're producing out of plastic. There's also a lot of um, fishing nets and fishing line here. Probably because there's a lot of fishing going on here in this area. <laughs> but in amongst it all, there are still shells to be found.
happy with that, Baz? Yeah, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Um, it's always very difficult looking on the phone, whether everything's in focus, whether you've got just the right height and the right angle. I think we've got some good shots of ABC, which are going to be used for future promotional purposes. Yeah! The truth will reveal itself once we plug it into the computer. <laughs> okay, there's biting flies. It's hot. I know it's only 8 o'clock in the morning, but I'm already sweating. And, uh, the biting flies are really annoying now. So time to get the boat ready and do our two-hour run to did him um, and hopefully civilization means fewer biting flies and fewer wasps <laughs> the boat is not ship shape in any way shape or form that's a mouthful of ships any who's up we have just basically got the boat ready enough to go the wasps are just yeah, not just, as many as last night. No, but they're still but in they're your face and all over you as you're trying yeah. to do stuff. And, no, uh, I've been stung once, so I don't really want to get stung again. No. All right, snubber up, and then when you're ready, anchor up. Nine o'clock departure should be in by just after 11 o'clock. Should also be a sign associated with the fish farms like, you know, wasp nest, wasp nest, wasp nest, wasp nest. <laughs> this segment brought to you by Raid. Enough contents in one can to kill 10 million wasps. Plus one. This is obviously some sort of seafood industry. It's not a fish farm per se. It just seems to be a lot of boys hanging around in uh, kind of straight lines. So if anybody knows what they're farming there, we'd be interested if you could leave a comment down below. Do you remember when we were walking around Yalakavak and we showed you those uh, cute little boats in the, in the yard? Just found out that they are real and they're used in the fishing farm industry. It's so calm and there's only a gentle breeze. Water is really like liquid satin. Well, I just spotted a dolphin off the starboard bow and a turtle's just popped his head up here. But we're not after turtles, he'll be well deep by now. But the dolphins are somewhere off there. That's Didim ahead of us. Um, Didim Demarin Marina is on the corner there. And then there's a couple of anchorages in the middle and we're going into the main anchorage which is at the main beach of the main town and hopefully we should get into around about six meters of depth there and just like that we're in didim Ta -da! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty uneventful really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Apart from running scared from the wasps. So did him, what we're going to do here is we're going to reprovision. I think all we've got left in the fridge is uh, four sausages. Um, that's it. Maybe some vegetables rotting away at the bottom. Uh, so we've got no beer. <gasps> Um, and no water. Oh yeah, That's we need, we need another big batch of bottled water. Yeah. Um, so we can get all of that here in Didham. Um, today being Monday, we've got to check our emails uh, because ins boat insurance is coming into play within the next, well, this week sometime. And so um, the one that we're with is like really expensive. And we've heard from other yachties that you can get your boat insured in Turkey. Uh, at a much more agreeable price. So we put uh, our feelers out on Friday, obviously weekend nothing happens. We'll find out today when we switch the computers on and uh, we'll go from there. And once I've got all the insurance sorted out, I'll have a chat to the camera and you guys. Uh, yeah, so a great bay here. Um, it, it's huge. There's plenty of room for, I don't know, many, many yachts to anchor. Mm. Um, the holding is looking good. It's a lot of sand uh, with weed, but the weed patches you can go, oh, I don't want to go there. I'll drop my anchor in sand. Uh, we're in uh, uh, six meters. Um, went in easily on the clear. sand. Water's clear as. Yeah. 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 So a nice spot here, all the amenities, great holding, good protection from the wind. If you're looking for a quiet anchorage, this won't be the one for you. No. Because there are bars and 
There's lots of beach activity. Yeah. There are banana boats and jet, jet skis, skis. Power cruisers. Um, there is a pier over on the west side where all of the day tripper boats um, hang out when they're not doing their thing. And when they leave, they do a tour of the bay. So Play, they will be playing them music. Playing their music. So, you know. But we're here with mainly to provision and it's a good stop yeah. before we go up to Kushtasa. Yeah, looking forward to that. All right, well, let's put this boat to bed and um, we'll come back to you guys later. Yeah. This is our first afternoon in Didim in the, uh, the Big Bay. And um, Angela's sitting here editing. Uh, with a scotch. <laughs> she's actually gone to scotch at this time of day, that's unusual. Of course we've got tow boats towing all sorts of things behind them. We got the day trooper boats returning. We've got several daytime clubs which will probably turn into nighttime clubs over here, all playing competing uh, music and you can't really hear one sound or the other. Uh, it is quite lively, let's say. Um, over there is a yellow marker, that's a jet ski, there's another yellow marker over there. Now the jet skis that are hired are meant to just travel between the yellow markers backwards and forwards. But they don't, they think our boat is a yellow marker too. And can I just say, these are not noise cancelling headphones <laughs> and I'm trying to do audio. <laughs> This day tripper's coming back in and he's going, our sound system's bigger than your sound system. It is utter audio and motion madness. Anywho, this is the Big Bay at Didim. If you don't like this kind of shit and you can't put up with it during the day and probably music from the beach bars until midnight, do not anchor here. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to do one of two things. We're either going to go closer to where these day tripper boats park, um, or, or drink more scotch. <laughs> <laughs> See this face? See this face? Stressed. <laughs> or we're going to go into the first bay next to the marina. Uh, if the space, uh, because we know there's, it's, it's peaceful and quiet there, and we can nip into the marina and go and use the Migros supermarket in the marina. We got most of what we needed in town today. It's hard to tell, there could be three, well, there's definitely three, maybe four, maybe five, all different beach clubs uh, competing musically against each other. Who's got the biggest amplifier? And um, deep down inside of me, I'm thinking, what I should do is get a USB together with. Uh, late 80s, early 90s, soul, funk, house, and trance, and just go over there and show them how it's done. I'll work for beer. You know what I'm saying? Can you sell yourself beer? I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure the DJs would like that though. The issue with the wasps at the last anchorage um, before we came to Didim. Uh, just keeps revealing itself. Ansha has just poured herself some water from the kettle and uh, poured out two wasps into uh, the cup she was going to use. Uh, so we checked inside the kettle and found some more wasps. Dead, of course. <laughs> so in total, four wasps alone dead inside the kettle. Two wasps dead inside Ansha's uh, head, forward head. Um, so no wonder the, the, the whole team of wasps were surrounding our boats. Six dead wasps sending off their pheromones. Oh my god, I'm dead and this boat killed me! I'm hoping that essence of wasp that I'm drinking will act like a little homeopathic medicine and it will um, help the wasp sting go down. <laughs> Bit of a histamine reaction going on there. It's not too bad, just want to scratch it. The nightclubs or day clubs, B 
beach clubs have uh, now reduced the decibel level of uh, music uh, and they're no longer competing it looks like one was just like a, a daytime beach club and it seems like one is going to be the nighttime club uh, they've still got some music going on and I can see some lights happening um, anyway that's not what I'm talking about right now I'm talking about the sunset we are in Didim still and people have said what do you do when you're on board well I'll tell you what we do and I'll show you what we do Right there is my computer, a pair of binoculars to see people who are in the way of high-powered vessels going by. Right there is Ancha's computer. Right there is my drink. Right there is Ancha's drink. It's probably about, what, 8 o'clock? Right at there is Ancha. <laughs> there is eight. What is it, 8 o'clock? Something so, yeah. like that? About now? Yeah. Right there is the sun setting. It's cooled down now. It's lovely. Makes a big difference. So daytime turns to nighttime in the big bay at Didim. Um, the jet skis have all gone, the um, banana boats have all gone. We're still the only yacht in the bay. Uh, we'll probably move into the middle bay tomorrow morning. And uh, we're gonna see what happens with this club here tonight. I mean, if it's just one club and they're playing good music and they've got light show, I'm, look, I'm happy to look at that offshore. Um, but yeah, people say, what do you do? Yeah, we've just had our, our dinner. We're drinking our drinks, watching the sunset, and waiting to see what happens on shore. That's what we do pretty much most of the nights. Now the sun's gone down and all the lights are coming on, it's actually quite pretty. And there's the moon and Venus. And our new flashing light. It's like a disco in my princess suite at night time. Our videos are made possible by you, our viewers, subscribers and patrons. If you'd like to get your name on screen like these good people, check out the link in the top right hand of the screen right now and have a look at our Patreon tiers. There could be one just right for you and it costs less than the price of a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.